Hey guys, today I thought I would share with you part two of my lug collection. So I shared part one with you, which was my lug wallet. So if you did miss that one, I can link it down below for you guys. But this is gonna be part two of my collection and I wanna show you all of the backpacks that I have. So today I'm gonna share with you all of my lug backpacks. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I first thought I would show you some of my packable backpacks. So I have three different packable backpacks. Two of them are the Puddle Jumper Packable Backpack. So this one is in the purple watercolor and it's out of the regular fabrication material. And this one is the Resort Black in the Freestyle Fabrication. I love these. I take these everywhere I go. When I travel, I always have some kind of packable backpack with me. What I will do is open these up in just a minute and show you how you open them, how they wear on the body. But I also wanna show you the third packable backpack that I have as well. So this one is the Packable Echo in the Tropical Multi. This is another beautiful print that I love. I love this backpack just as well. And there's certain features that I like on this one over the Puddle Jumper Packable Backpack. So it does have a ring on the side of this so you can clip it to your luggage or whatever, but I always travel with some kind of packable backpack. They are so good. So this is the Echo and you just unzip this one. And when you zip it open, these have so many great functions to be a packable backpack. So this is where it was. And then this, when you open it up, is a bottom compartment that you can use. And I like to use that if I have shoes that I don't wanna keep with the other stuff, I will put it in there. If I have anything wet, I will put it down here at the bottom. So it's gonna pack itself into this bottom part and it has a grab handle. It has a front zip around pocket right here. Also has another bigger zip around pocket, but it does have side pockets also. And then in the back, it has padded backpack straps. What packable backpack have you ever seen that has padded mesh backpack straps? Also has a trolley strap as well. So I'll just show you how this one looks on. So this is the Echo, and this is how this one wears on. Love this also because it has this little slider. So if you do adjust this to where you have a lot of the strap hanging, you can just put that in the little slider and it's not flapping around. So here is the original fabrication in the Puddle Jumper Packable Backpack. And it has a ring as well. And then when you open it up, this bottom pocket is what it comes out of. So when you get ready to pack it back up, it'll go into this bottom pocket. But when it is open, it is a functioning pocket. I like to put my wallet in there. Any of your full size wallets will fit in the front of this. And then just like all of your other pedal jumper bags, it does have the two zipper pockets right here. And then instead of a magnetic close, it does have a Velcro for the packable style, it has a grab handle one big open area that is a double zipper. So I really like that because if you're somewhere and you just wanna get into the top part of it, you can just open that top and you don't have to zip it all the way around. It does have side pockets also. Now the back are padded backpack straps, but they're not the mesh like the Echo is. So, but they're still really nice and padded and they do have a trolley sleeve as well. Great backpacks, I love these. This one is one that I take to the amusement park all the time. So here's how it looks. And it also has that slider as well. So this is the Puddle Jumper in the original fabrication. And then you have this one in the freestyle fabrication, which is basically just like the other one that I showed you. It zips around the same way. It just kind of has a looser fabrication, but this it's the same. It has all the pockets. And you can tell it's more of a slouchier look. It also has those side pockets, a grab handle. The back of them are not padded. So this is a difference in the freestyle packable backpack over the original material. The original material did have a little bit of padding in it. This one does not in the freestyle. So that is one of the things also, if it's heavier, I don't like to carry this one because it doesn't have that padding that is in the backpack strap. But it does have this reinforcement right here that's supposed to keep it from tearing. But that's where I've seen some people on Facebook saying that they have had some tearing right here, some tearing issues. So that's something to keep in mind. But this is a beautiful backpack. I love the print. And next, I thought I would move on to the Orbit. So I have this Orbit in the Shimmer Wine. Guys, I've had this forever and I still have the tags on it. So I've never used this one, but I love the color of it. It's just not been one that I go to because of the size. I like those packable backpacks a lot better. And then one of the other backpacks I'll show you is my go-to backpack. But I do like this one. It is a nice one. So it is the Orbit and they do also have a mini Orbit, but I don't have it. I thought it would be too small for my frame. And when I'm showing these to you on, I am 5'5 five five for reference and I'm between 145 and 150 pounds, depending on what I eat for that week. And so that will give you kind of an idea of how it looks like on me, how it might look like on you. So for this one, you have that designated cell phone area that is felt lines and it does have to go vertically in here. It can't fit horizontally. Then you have this quilting detail that's on the front. 
Lug logo in the middle, and then you have an area right here. And then I will show you on the inside of this shimmer wine, it has that gray background with that arrow design in it. It also has feet at the bottom and a wipeable bottom. And then on the back of it, it does have a trolley strap, padded backpack straps that also have a rubber grip. So this is really good. It's not going to slide off your shoulders or your back because it has that rubber grip on that, and it's really nice and padded. It does have a grab handle as well, and then it has side pockets. The side pockets are magnetic. So if you don't have anything in this side pocket, then it does look really streamlined because it does have that magnetic feature to it, and they are on both sides. When you open it up inside, the back area has a zipper area, a privacy zipper, and it goes all the way down to my hand length. So it's about the length of your hand down, so it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Then it has a big, large cargo pocket in the back that is felt lined. And then in the front of it, it has a clear, the, the clear view pocket area, zipper area. And then it also has two stretchy cargo pockets in the front of that. So as you can see, it has a good amount of room on the inside of it. And there's a better look at the lining inside this shimmer white. So this is the Orbit in the Shimmer Wine. And I almost forgot to show you this one on and went on to my next bag. So here is the Orbit. So here's the Orbit on. So this is what it would look like. And again, of course, when it's packed, it looks a little bit different. Here's also a side view. So this next backpack is my favorite backpack. This is my go-to. I love this one and the color is just awesome. So it's the Hatchback 3 in the Concord Purple. This is more of the satin look. It's not the brushed Concord purple. It is the satin look. So this I love. It is so lightweight. It fits really nicely on your back and is really comfortable to wear, but it, it holds a lot of stuff. It holds more than you would think it does. So this is my go-to backpack. And so I love the grab handle that it has. And then it has this front zipper area right here. You open it up. See, there's the lining of the Concord purple. So this pocket just goes down to right here. So it's a shallow pocket right here. And then underneath it, you have another zip around pocket that goes down to the bottom of the bag. It does have a wipeable bottom, no feet on the bottom. And then let me go around to the back and then we'll go into the main area. So the backpack straps do have padding on them and they also have the rubber grip on these as well. And then it has the designated cell phone area right here that is felt lined and it will also have to fit vertically. Then it also has this zipper area that's right here. So you can put some things in here that is also felt lined. So this is a really good hidden pocket for you to put anything. I will usually put my wallet right here. So if I have a smaller wallet, I will put it back here. And then it also does have side pockets. Your side pockets are a magnetic pocket as well. And then this zipper right here is a double zip and it goes into your main area. And in your main area, you have a key clip right here. Then you also have two cargo pockets in the back that are felt lines. And then in the front, you have the clear view pocket zipper area. And then you have one big cargo area in the front that is not felt line. So this is gonna be your hatchback three in this Concord purple. Here's the hatchback three. And this is how it looks from the side as well. This is by far my favorite backpack. I love this backpack. It's just a really, really good one, guys. So I was so excited when they came out with the hatchback and the vegan leather. I do love Lugs vegan leather. I know some people are on the fence about whether they like fake leather or not, but I do love their vegan leather. It's so soft. So I wanna show you side by side these two bags. So basically they have the same features in each one of them. They have the grab handle, the backpack straps. This one is padded as well in the vegan leather. It has the back zipper, but there is one thing that the vegan leather one has that my other hatchback does not have. And underneath where the designated cell phone area is, it also has this zipper area right here. So you have this area that goes all the way down to the bottom. The original hatchback that I have does not have that zipper area. It has the snap area right here. So it has a Velcro area that's right behind it, which I did not tell you when I was first going through this. I'm sorry, I forgot to do that, but it does have that Velcro area that's behind the designated area. And you can almost not tell it's even there because it's almost hidden right here. So this one Velcros and then the one on the vegan leather actually zips. And then it also has those magnetic side pockets. But I wanted to show you on this blush pink, the inside lining is camo rose. So that's such a pretty lining for this blush pink. So another difference is it has the cursive lug on the bottom as opposed to the metal lug logo. But then another difference is the hatchback has a straight front. The vegan leather has that quilting look on the front. So here is the hatchback in the original fabrication and the hatchback in the vegan leather. Love this blush pink color and I love the camo rose on the inside. So 
So here is the vegan leather hatchback and how it wears on the body. I went ahead and decided to put this one with the backpack option because that's how I carry this one mostly. So this is the mini pedal jumper three and it can be carried by the straps. It can be worn crossbody or on the shoulder or as backpack. So I normally carry it as a backpack. That's why I decided to put it with the backpack category. So this is the mini pedal jumper three in the heather gray. Love heather gray. It's one of my favorite, favorite colors. And I love that black contrast that's here at the bottom. So you have the lug logo in the middle, the zip around pocket that's at the bottom. And so the lining in this one is that really pretty blue palm and floral design that's on the inside. You have your cargo pocket that's felt lined on that, a built-in wallet with the zipper in the front area. And then you have your magnetic pockets right here on the pedal jumper and your zip around areas right here. Designated cell phone area. And like I said, this can be carried three different ways. I choose to carry it backpack style. That's why you see in this video. And it does have rubber at the back of this and it has a really nice padding detail. And these are detachable. You can detach them and hide them back here in the back. It has that trolley sleeve right here. And here is the area that you would hide your backpack straps if you decide to carry it without the backpack. It does have side pockets, which are magnetic. Here are your rings to attach the crossbody strap if you want to carry it crossbody. But like I say, I use it backpack style all the time. Here is the crossbody strap that has a rubber padded area on the crossbody. When you open this up, it has a nice big cargo pocket in the back that is felt lined. And then the front of it has your clear view pocket zipper area, two pin holder slots, a key clip, and then it's just a really big structured area. It does have a wipeable bottom with feet at the bottom of it. This, I love this one. It is such a great size. I like this one better than the original pedal jumper. I like the mini size a lot better. And I carry this backpack style all the time. This is one of my favorite bags. And this is how the mini pedal jumper three looks on the body. Here is a side view of it. I really do like it. It's a really lightweight backpack. Since I showed you the mini pedal jumper three in the backpack section, I'm also gonna show you the vegan leather mini pedal jumper. This came in the fall box. There was so much controversy over this bag. I love this bag because I love the mini puddle jumper three and I like the vegan leather. I did have the silver markings. They're actually still on here. I haven't wiped them off. I have the silver markings on here and some mismatched. You can kind of see my two pockets right here kind of look a little bit sideways and things, but this quilting, I love the quilting. I love vegan leather. This copper color is so pretty. I have not carried this yet, but it's got the same features of the last mini puddle jumper that I showed you. It has metal feet at the bottom, and then it does have the area right here where you can put your straps if you're not using your straps. It does have the trolley sleeve, and it's just got all the same functions of the last one that I showed you. You can carry this crossbody as well. So this is the copper brown, and on the inside it has the, I think this is the zebra sand print on the inside, but it has the same features. It has the pin holders, the key clip, the clear view pocket and the back felt lined cargo pocket. So this one, I like it. I know a lot of people didn't care for this in their box, was really upset about it, but I like it. I love this color and this is a good backpack. So I do like to carry this. And like I say, their vegan, their vegan leather is so good. I love how soft it is. So this is the mini pedal jumper three in the copper brown. And this is how it wears on the body as well. So you can see how it looks at the side. I guess it would look a little bit better if I had it zipped. So you can see the side view and you can see the back view. So this is the mini pedal jumper three. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for my part two of my lug collection. Like I said, I really wanted to do a series of these videos to show you my lug collection so you could kind of see what I had. If you wanted to see any comparisons in any, any of the bags that I have, if you missed part one, it was the wallet collection and I can link that down below for you guys. So this is part two, the backpack collection. I am so excited to share my lug collection with you. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.